Hello again, ladies. This is the final video in the series on Jesuits and fluoridation. And if you remember from one of the previous videos, I mentioned salt fluoridation. And you may wonder, huh? Salt is fluor fluoridated? Absolutely. And I'll show you just how that occurs and what the link is between the Jesuits from the Vatican and this sinful act of fluoridating salt in, ver in its various forms. So we're going back to Jesuit.org and we're going to click on Jesuits Worldwide again. You can really find a whole lot of different things just by going to that single button in Jesuit Refugee Service. Click on that. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page again. Click on links. And here at the links webpage of the JRS USA website, we're going to scroll down to the World Health Organization. And then we'll click on the programs button. Then click on oral health. And as I've said before, it shows all these different things about fluoride, 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 fluoride. You know, oral health through fluoride, supposedly. But we're going to go to documents and publications. And we're going to scroll down towards the bottom of the page. And we're going to click on salt fluoridation, an alternative an alternative in automatic prevention of dental caries, so they say. And then we'll we'll click on the actual article title so we can open it up in another tab. And here we are, a 2005 article from the International Dental Journal on salt fluoridation. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, it says right here, according to their own words, research and practical experience gained in several countries have demonstrated, however, that dental caries can be prevented effectively through establishment of fluoride programs, water fluoridation, salt fluoridation, milk fluoridation, and use of affordable fluoridated toothpaste play the major roles in public health. Wrong. Fluoride has nothing to do with good oral health in any way, shape, and form. And so you can read through this article yourself. It's eight pages. I'm not going to take the time to tell you every technical detail about, you know, where all the buzzwords are in it. That's something for you to figure out on your own and to study. But we're going to go to page seven according to this system right here, and page 7 is right here. And uh, you'll notice right here under tolerance limits regarding variations of concentrations, the first bullet point right here, in their own words, this is not me saying this, this is from the World Health Organization of the UN, promoted and supported and, and controlled by the Vatican Jesuits. Fluoride is not a pharmaceutical. Its concentrations need not be strictly constant as required for pharmaceutical preparations. Let me ask you this. If fluoride was not a pharmaceutical, then why would it dumb down people just like medications? Which if you look up in Webster's 1828 Dictionary on pharmaceutical, Huh, interesting here. They say fluoride is not a pharmaceutical, but we see here in Webster's 1828 Dictionary entry to practice witchcraft or use medicine, poison, or medicine. Ah, isn't that interesting? Pharmaceutical is related to witchcraft. 
And here they talk about hour to hour or day to day variations or variations from batch to batch. Same thing as pharmaceuticals. Fluoride, if not in itself entirely, is a pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to claim that, then you have to at least see the fact that fluoride is used in pharmaceutical applications. Because look at the buzzwords here, hour to hour, day to day variations. If you go to an establishment doctor, he or she is going to say, have you been taking your medication as prescribed each day? Same thing with this. It's the same concept with fluoride. And yet they tell you, they try to, to make you understand that it's not a pharmaceutical. It's for your health and safety. No, it's not healthful. Then on page eight, next page down here, in this paragraph right here, the, the sentence right here starting, alternatives to automatic fluoridation by means of water fluoridation are salt fluoridation, milk fluoridation, and use of affordable fluoridated toothpaste and the WHO oral health program is currently undertaking evaluation of demonstration projects in several countries. The use of fluoridated toothpaste is recommended in all circumstances except in locations with excessive fluoride intake. Huh, interesting. So you see that fluoride is an extensive concept. There are four different types of fluoride if you've been paying attention in these videos thus far. And the fact that you can link from the Society of Jesus webpage, website right here, Jesuits Worldwide webpage right here, Jeff Jesuit Refugee Service, the agency that's headquartered here in the United States of America, or United Satanic Agency, and uh, links you to the World Health Organization of the UN, and links you to this article. The fact that I've shown you four different types of fluoridation now to, to prove to you that the Jesuits are behind this, I really, really hope that you see now that you need to stay away from fluoride. You know, if you have a well on your property, get your water supply from there. Do not rely on the government. If you think that, oh, well, we can bring back, you know, good, good water practices in this country or whatever country you're in, in the world right now, and you think, let's go to the government and vote in a different politician. Wrong. As a Christian woman, you should not vote at all. And if you still have a voter's registration on hand in the system, you need to get rid of it immediately. By voting, you are sinning against God because God did not design women to vote. It is a feminist tactic to say women should allow, should participate in politics. So again, do not believe this lie that fluoride is good for you. And just to just to show you it one more time, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. According to Romans chapter 3 verse 10 and Psalm, chap Psalm 9 verse 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all, in it, and all the nations that forget God from the King James Bible. That, those two verses right there, along with numerous others, prove that fluoride is a result of man telling God, I can get to heaven by my church attendance membership. I can get to heaven just by, you know, serving my community and by being a good supporter of the political system through my voting. Um, no. You, if, if you do not believe me already, that you cannot get to heaven through your own self-righteous pride, then you need to turn to God as a repentant, contrite sinner for salvation. And only God can save you. 
this right here proves, this article proves what happens when man turns from God.